Yeah. All right. Now the main event, obviously. Um, if I said to you, tell me, tell me the greatest, pick 94 years. Pick, pick the greatest Hamiltonian. Does 1996 come up there? Oh, the, the Continental Victory? Yeah, Continental oh, Victory. Definitely, to me, I, th I think so. It, just that the... Like out of all of them, not your best. I'm yeah. talking all of them. Well, it's, it's some people are going to tell you that, that it is one of the best Hamiltonian. I don't know. Because, you know, I, I had the choice of the best three horses in the country. <laughs> right? That's no joke. I had the, uh, the, the choice between her... Lindy Lane and Mr. Vic. Right. And they, now, they, they were in the, uh, maybe number one, two, three. Talk about the, um, and then what's fascinating to me was last year we had Atlanta and uh, Manchego. And those two Phillies are, are powerhouses on their own. Winning, I mean, Manchego undefeated, just destroyed every Philly. And Atlanta, obviously. You know, took on the boys and won, and was only the third. Continental Victory was the only the second Philly since they brought in the Oaks. Obviously, there was ones back in the day, but until they brought in the Oaks, there was only two. And now Atlanta, yeah, and and Atlanta was the third one. Yeah, Money Maker was in the Oaks. Yeah, but the, the Money Maker, I I'm not saying that the Don Great Money Maker. She was no match for Hamilton for Continental Victory. Okay, that so so at that time, at that point, she was no match. Was it always a hey, we're going to the Hamiltonian with this horse with Continental Victory? Yes. When like when did when did but they? Yeah, but the one that wanted to go so bad was Ronnie more than anybody. He wanted to. Me, honestly, I didn't care because you I had all you had all the horses yeah but for a selfish reason <laughs> i had lindy lane that i knew that it was going to be one of the favorite or the favorite to win the hamble so you th you thought continental victory could beat um uh money maker in the oaks oh no, it, uh, yeah and then you win the, i know money money maker turn out that i'm not sure the, 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 one of the best great the greatest filly in the uh, ever. We're, we're talking about that day uh, the, on that day there was she was no match for uh, so Continental you were you victory. were thinking hey i could win the oaks with continental victory and exactly. win the hamiltonian with lindy lane it's a pretty good day you know That's it. and then but, so then ron tells you uh you know probably you whatever don't talk with the owner back then uh dina frost and Oh, there was the, the three the, the different uh, people that owned the Continental Victory, and they, they all wanted to go the, into the Hamble with the boys. So that's it. So then, honestly, I said to myself, I'm going to stay with Lindy Lane. Okay. Because I said, he's a better horse. He's going to have a better trip. Not that he's a better horse, but he's going to have a, a, a better trip, and he was very handy to drive. And I drove uh, Lindy Lane at, uh, all the start, and, you know, at, uh, two and three, and... So, I don't know. So we we have a, a lunch, me, Ronnie, and the owner of uh, Continental Victoria, one of the owner, just one of the owner. And uh, so we're sitting at the table and El Villaggio. <laughs> right down the road from the Meadowlands, yeah. right? So, you know, when they come up, they say, what, what are you gonna do? So I said, I'm gonna stay with Lindy Lane. <gasps> You should see the verified. <laughs> yeah, I thought he was going to die. He was with his wife, too. I, I felt so right bad. Uh, Ronnie, his wife, and the, the lady that owns a, a piece of Continental Victory. And and who who, who owned and trained and, and uh, Lindy Lane? The, there was the uh, Lindy Farm. Okay. And Tenacci, with, the, with those people, they were great to me all along. They were was, they was wonderful people. I knew they were... And the other horse is going to be a stallion, mm -hmm. and I'm going to, you know, the. Uh, uh, it's just the. I mean, it, it, it's on paper. You, you almost have to go with the cult. Exactly. Ninety nine exactly. times out of hundred. Yeah. Just forget about even you know. Just that's just the smarter. You, you're was playing a, the odds. Just a business there. move. Yeah. That was smart move. So then when I I saw that Ronnie was all, oh, <laughs> then I felt so bad. I said, Ronnie, I said. It's just a race. It's one race. You know, it's not the end of the world. You know, I said, the, the, if you take it like that, I says, you know, I, I, I wonder how the Hambo uh, with one of yours, 
before. Yeah, a so couple I years said, ago, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I said, it's not the end of the world. I'd stay with the mayor. Mm -hmm. And we finished the, 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 the lunch. And I was thinking inside of me, I was dying there because I said, now when I get out of the, the, the restaurant, I have to call Lindy. Frank, Frank Antonacci and tell him. I swear, it's like if it was yesterday. So I get on the phone booth. And <laughs> wait, 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 wait. wait you, get, you get a call from the phone booth? Yeah, the, the, back then. I no have, cell phones? No, 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 no there was no cell phone. I know, I know. So uh, the, there was just a little, uh, a little phone, phone booth, booth okay. there, right there. So I get right in, front, in, in the corner, uh, 100 feet from the restaurant. So I said, yeah, Frankie, uh, you know, like, I, well, I had a lunch with uh, <laughs> Ronnie and the... Uh, it's not what I want, but I'm gonna have to stay with uh, with Continental Victory. I swear to God, for about ten seconds, there was nothing on the phone. No, I even said, "I said, yeah, Frankie, are you Frankie. still there? Yes, yes. Well, that's what you decide. That's okay. Boom. So okay, yeah, yeah, almost hang up. Not quite hang up because uh, Frank Antonacci is. Uh, it's a very classy guy. How how long before? Uh, because this this was the last time there was um, heats day of. So did you have to do this a couple weeks before? Did you have two to, weeks before? Uh, did you? Was there another race in between or? Yeah. For Beacon, Lindy Lane. Yeah, the Beacon Course. Okay. So and you, Continental Victory raced against them. In the Beacon Course. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that's when you had to make the decision. How did the Beacon Course end up? <laughs> Real bad. Real bad. Yeah, because o the O'Donnell got the drive. They didn't know who you, who's, who's going to get the drive, Manzi or O'Donnell. Okay. On the Lindy Lane. Did is that something that uh, the Antonacci's would have asked you about, and said, "Hey, who do you think?" No, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not sure if uh, somebody didn't mention something to me which one was good and uh, I'm sure I stay out of it there sure. because you know something like that, I it, that that's a lose lose situation for yeah, you right yeah, because sure. if yeah. you say hey put cat down and then Bill's mad at you and then no, if Bill no, does no, better no, you don't want him to do you want him to be just a little bit worse than you right just yeah. that much worse <laughs> But I knew that it was a very easy horse to drive, Lindy Lane. Mm -hmm. So I said, whoever going to drive him is going to have fun. Sure. And uh, so then the Beacon Course the week before, top of the stretch. I'm second over, if I remember right. Lindy Lane is third over. Okay. In the stretch, you come O'Donnell on the outside. Boom, with the hell that left hand. He goes by uh, Continental Victory and... Uh, Whoops, she got like a real short uh, stride at the wire and swishing her tail, and okay. I knew there was something wrong. So uh, she finished, uh, if I remember right, I think I was third or fourth. And but Lindy Lane won, won it? Okay. Yeah. But that, that uh, I was, I was have sad. You, have you ever gone in 94, 96, 99, have you ever gone into the Hamiltonian? <laughs> with the, this beacon horse don't why even race stop racing in it just yeah, yeah. don't race uh, in it yeah, i had no luck in that in that race there i wanted to, with some other horse there but anyway that that, that time so i uh, that's it i you, went home that night there uh, there was a saturday night and i said jesus christ but i said for my uh oak uh, i said no the mayor wasn't wasn't right hmm. I went back uh, uh, right after the race. I went back either to the paddock or the barn. And uh, the girl that took care of a Continental Victory, a Swedish girl, she's, I know her, her name real good. Anyway, uh, very very uh, good uh, horse lady okay she knew what she was what she was doing so she knew something wasn't right yeah, and where she says no the mayor's in eat okay yeah and as she says that she's not right she's she was in eat all day and that's why she was so soft at the wire she's uh, i like to remember her name you know, she's a nice lady uh, she's she still work for the for uh, uh, jim campbell i talk to her on almost every day uh so I said, the next morning, I called uh, Gerfine. Even back then, we didn't have the, 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 the cell, cell phones. Phone, yeah. But uh, I called 
I think it's it's hotel in, in or in Jersey or called the barn or something. Okay. And they, they said no, he, he's at his mother in the city. Back then his mother was alive. So I call him there and I, I so I got him on the phone. So I exp so what what do you think happened and and after the race I wouldn't have uh, he was so not depressed but he was sad. Yeah, it's 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 upsetting. So I said, you know, the Rania the, 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 the she was in heat there and she wasn't the same. She was soft and a stretch swishing her tail and and he, so he said I'm going to get the, the vet to uh, to give her some uh, chorionic. Sure. Back then and he said uh, I'm going to fresh her up the, the, this week and as he says Mike she'll be or she'll be okay uh, on Saturday she wanted, not going to be the same horse he was right and we both were right on the on the Abertonian day she was unbelievable first, first heat was uh, if I believe I went, it, it was I went a little too much with him you went a little too much yeah but <laughs> it was against my will because she wears a pull down bridle and when you pull the bridle, the bridle down so she started open and then you you yeah, pulled it down and she was very relaxed with the open bridle okay so we're going behind the gate and the, if i remember right there was something that happened there was a, a horse late and or a recall maybe on something like that for sure and, and not uh, not in the final, in the elimination. Sure. And whoa, she gets hot, and then she throw her head. Boom! The blind come down. Oh, so, so now, could, now that's I'm it. just a passenger. Now you're just a passenger. She so was well, gone. What am I gonna do? Just to slow her down, I'm gonna zigzag with her and sure. things like that, and then choke her or something like that. So make I, her I, angry. I just sat behind her, and I just tried to slow her down. She was doing so easy. So when I got off in, in, in the winter <laughs> circle, the, the Ronnie was a, a little. Uh, what are you doing? And everybody was said, oh, "Geez, maybe you wanted to." I said, "Ronnie, don't worry." That was easy. She for her. was so good. She was so easy. I says, and especially I knew something back then, because I have been around horses all my life. I said, a filly, especially a filly, when it's her day, when she's good on that day. That's it. They're tougher than the, the, mm -hmm. the much tougher than the stud, much tougher. And I knew what the kind of horse she was. There, she was a tank, yeah. And I said, if she's threatening fifty-two. Don't worry, she could come back an hour after and threaten fifty-two. An hour after and threaten fifty-two. Threaten another fifty-two. Yeah. Now going before both races, I believe there was chaos all around. There was horses breaking. Uh, there was the, recall. The, 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 so recall, eh? Yeah, in the final. So so did that affect her at all uh did you oh, were, yes that definitely did it affect you did you feel that it was affecting her did it yes. what about the other horses yeah because she was getting hot sure so i and i was very very lucky that uh, a young man that was working for girlfriend at the time so he was in a paddock so i said come on he jumped on the track he, he grabbed her believe me there wasn't two Two person in a country, or, or that, that that could have done that. Could have held her. That's how lucky I was. That they were. That I had that oh, so giant he, of a man that could. That, that was he? Was down. he working for Gerfine? Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. I thought it was just somebody. He, he was just, working for Gerfine, okay. but he wasn't taking care of the, the content of victory. Okay. He had nothing to do. With it. He was just a, a, a training for Gerfine. Sure. So it, he he took a hold of her, and believe me, she calmed down, and she calmed down, and she calmed down, and well, finally, when I turned her behind the gate. She was back to normal. So how lucky was I? Did it matter post one or two? Like if you got post two, would your strategy have changed? Because no. Lindy Lane has got the two hole. Yeah, but the, no, no, but, but not with her. I want to be in front of uh, Lindy Lane. I didn't, I didn't want to be uh, in his back. And do you think Bill O'Donnell, if he had the rail, would he have tried to still follow you and let you go and sat a two hole? He would have taken me tried to take me stretch away. you out a little bit yeah. but but he yeah, still but i think he, uh, he was uh, uh, he was a great driver too eh? and he, uh, he would have never tried to uh, kill his horse take the take the race away no. yeah so no. it, it was more or less it probably would have ended up you on the front him in the two hole yeah right? okay so here we go behind the gate and but but there, there, there was uh, there was one guy on the outside recalls there's chaos we finally get behind the gate 
and she's Welcome right on the gate on the three horses Active break and she's right on the gate I'm just a passenger I'm just and sitting on yeah she looks not like crazy Active but Grace it's hard to get out of the from the, the rail drive. yeah and she I mean uh, she already she's, she's just front, very uh, very handy in there. Yeah. Second. and boom one two oh, yeah. she, she's got the uh, she's got the blinders up you could see yeah. it yeah. With Kramer boy in fourth, and it's a length and a half back. oh boy and I knew I couldn't let him go yeah is is she taking off is she making decisions for you at this point no but uh, I could not let him go anyway. no you, you no, it, and uh, I even uh, yell at uh, Chip Noble okay nice man and I said I, I just shook my head a little bit and I said Chip I can't I can't let you go yeah I, I, to, I, I said something to him let it go a little bit you see he, he, can't, he was he was the closer to me officer, see, yep. see when I turned my head yep so I quarter, and he, the could, lead, he with didn't the hear Tonyo. so but here we go down the back stretch and, and you kind of know at this point will easily put away Tony Oaks's bid and it's continental victory by a length and a half but because we uh, we won the such a stiff half lane. and i knew that i had Tony the lindy, lindy lane in my back i wasn't confident so you had to i was not four. not confident at all cold, and uh, when i turned my head top of the stretch and, and i saw the he, because he pulled right he's going to be he pulled, yeah, he pulled like a uh, halfway he even pushed the guy on the outside and i knew his bridle and everything Lindy and I said, "Whoa, and I, here we I'm go! Not, he's going to beat right me." Stalking the leader in second. See, O'Donnell. she really. I, this, thought, I thought he was, I was going to get beat. Top of the stretch. The do you hear? Do you hear uh, this horse coming three wide? No. No. Up three wide. Here comes Moisey up with Kramer Boy mm. trying to get into it. That's running. I didn't never. I never point. saw that he was three wide. I just so, saw Lindy Lane. So you just saw Lindy. You know he popped, and that's it. Did you know that you got a, a pretty soft third quarter there? Oh, yes. Yeah, so okay. That, that I knew that. That's yeah. what you needed, though. Yeah, oh, definitely. Okay, so you got the break. You know Lenny Lane's coming. But I, knew, I, I in my heart, I, he's going to beat me. That Lenny Lane was going to go by you? Yeah. May, may, j- just stick a, a head out in front? Yeah. Because, okay. you know, you see, uh, I, I knew the horse. He, he was a, not a great horse, but he was a very handy and nice to drive right. and he respond from a good trip sure so i knew he had the good trip so i knew he's, he's going to respond three quarters one twenty five and one but on that day on nobody way. could beat her it's continental you guys are lead. lindy lane attacks on the outside but it's another two back two but you see lindy lane he, he looked like he was going to go by and whoop continental victory the philly on the inside full of chance on the outside lindy lane and o'donnell as they hit the wire Continental victory. See, I, I step. Uh, I didn't hit her like the last uh, maybe a hundred yards. Almost. Right. Yeah. I just. I knew that. I, you knew if, if he, if if he didn't if he didn't get by initially, he was not getting been by. An, uh, an, another eight of a mile, she would have went by two, three. So he had. A, if he would have gotten by quick, maybe he would have been yeah. it, put her away. But since he couldn't put her away, and twenty-seven and three last quarter. I mean, that's. That's, That's her fastest quarter of the race. And a, a mile and 52 and a double heat. Yep, double heat. That was the fastest double heat ever of all time. I don't know. To, to, to this, this day, she, me, I always thought that she was the greatest three-year-old filly of all time. Mm-hmm. Now maybe somebody's going to uh, second guess. Uh, they, they're going to say uh, uh, maybe Atlanta. They're going to say Mission Brief. I don't think there's any of those fairly could done to do that. 